every year. More than one million babies across the world are born with congenital heart defects but can't get proper treatment. However, a group of medical professionals is stepping up to save lives through HeartGift, which coordinates and funds these life-saving trips. A group of Houstonians ready to repair those tiny tickers recently traveled to Bolivia. A few volunteers join us this morning to talk more about this incredible medical mission. So please welcome Lee Evie, a respiratory therapist. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Also, we have Crystal Kroger, who's a territory manager of Congenital Structural Heart. Did you get that? At Texas Children's Hospital. My goodness, what a powerhouse you two are to be able to be part of this team. How many work from Texas Children's Hospital in this group? From this group, we had 13 people from Texas Children's and some former Texas Children's employees that have moved on to other organizations. Well, and you've been doing this year after year. How many times have you been to Bolivia with this group? Um, I've coordinated this trip from the beginning, which is 2006, so this is our 15th year to travel down there. And you've done this for two years now. Yes. What is this like to be a part of a mission where these kids might not get a chance in life if you didn't go there to help out? It, it's it's an incredibly rewarding experience. The children that are a part of this, it's like they hit the lottery because mm -hmm. Bolivia is the poorest country in South America, so there's no access to this care otherwise, and so we're very happy to help provide that service. Well, they provided some video of us to see what some of the children are like and what it's like to be in the hospital. We see the team right here, some of you uh, all ready to go, and, and just look at these precious ones, and it looks like you make this comfortable for them. They're getting bubbles blown at them. How does that help these kids just be calm before a major surgery, even little bitty tiny ones? We, we have an amazing team, and we do our very best to provide the best care we can with limited resources and supplies and we do our best to keep them comfortable and get them through this process. What would happen to these kids if you weren't there? Are we talking about the threat of their life? It is. I mean it truly is. These patients uh, are, are the sickest patients in Bolivia because they don't have access to this care. So. Uh, if we don't come, then most of these patients, uh, they pass away mm -hmm. um, I, if we're not there. It's just sickening to think about those lives and what you've done is so beautiful from, from right here. And, and this is a group that comes from all over our country. But again, the, the biggest part of, of this team is from right here in Houston. And you actually take vacation time, your own time to do this? That's correct. We do. Everyone uh, is just thrilled to have the opportunity to give back. And we are just so fortunate to have all of those supplies here. Is that one of the biggest problems? Is it staff as well as supplies that they're lacking? It is. The, the supplies to perform open heart surgeries are very expensive, and so we rely on donations not only of supplies, but uh, some of the equipment that we get. Texas Children's has been very generous in donating some of those retired equipment to us so that we can take it down there for this. What are these parents, what, what are their actions and their reactions when they see you all coming and knowing that you're literally coming to save their children's lives? They are so incredibly grateful. Um, they cry, they hug us, they uh, thank us repeatedly and it's, it's just a beautiful thing to be able to help them. When I take a look at this logo and it says heart gift, mending hearts one gift at a time and when we're talking about the gift of life, I mean there's nothing bigger than that. I think about you, you leave then, is there staff readily available to help them with their recovery? There is. Most of the patients we fully recover and, and actually before we even leave many of them go home. Um, and it, Some of those stories are just amazing to see the child that was unable to walk when we got there because mm -hmm. of their severity of cardiac disease. They're walking the halls and, as we're leaving and the families come mm -hmm. and they, they try and give us gifts and we, we just, we're just there for, you know, to help their mm -hmm. child. Well, just thankful that you're able to do that to make a difference. And thanks for sharing that with us and for coming in from Texas Children's Hospital. Incredible. Way to go, heart gift. It's beautiful.